Morning, morning. Yeah, massive breaking news today. David Beckham's had more tattoos. And on his oh, yeah. head. Ooh. Yeah. On his um, head. That must yeah. hurt. He's had um, a solar system design etched yeah. on his left side. Oh, yeah. Just Doesn't... visible under his cropped hair. That's a new small rose by his ear when on a trip to Macaw in China. Uh, yeah, but it's a solar system. So if you see here, uh, he actually has got a solar system up above his ear. The middle of the solar system should be the sun. He's got it the wrong way around. Because you do, you do. Yeah. You look at David Beckham and you hear him speak, you do think the new Professor Stephen Hawking, don't you? That's what you think. You do well, think solar <laughs> system, you think, you know, massively super intelligent brain telling us how the planets interact. Oh, that's really... That was my first feeling. What was... I think is how painful it must be to have a tattoo on your skull. Yeah. yeah. But does he feel pain? Does he know what pain is? <laughs> I don't know, I've just got a solar system. I asked him for a planet. That's very planet. unfair. I said, put a couple of planets above my lug hole, son. And uh, there we are, a couple of planets above the lug hole. Why are you there obsessed with David Beckham? When's Arthur being... When's the sequel to Arthur? That was because my favourite... Because good-looking and... <laughs> that was my favourite yes, role. <laughs> that was my favourite movie role of the year. Hey! <laughs> hey, <laughs> um, Anyway, congratulations to David on his... Um, He's never coming on to Good Morning Britain, is he? Uh, <laughs> not for me. I've, not... I've interviewed David Beckham. Very you've, surprisingly you've, you've, on David Beckham. You, you, you famously flirted with David Beckham. Because that's what you do, isn't it, with all attractive men on this programme? You flirt with them, apart from one. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind if it wasn't quite so selective. <laughs> hey, David Cameron, uh, you, you saw him off. Interviewed. Interviewed mm. is the word you're looking for. Mm. Flirted with. Mm. She's just making them feel welcome, being professional. Yeah. Um, smiling. I make the mistake of smiling at people. Oh, that's what does it. People think I'm flirting. Yeah. So if I do this... Yeah, you should tell you people do this. What tell you people do? In Fleet Street, where I used to work, <laughs> a sort of real world, people they stab you straight in the front. Right? They come up to you and go, <laughs> you are a complete <laughs> idiot. Bang, right? Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean really. I mean, it's just like, they, they're, like they, they, they're full on, straight in your face, right? Television people, they're like, hello! <laughs> and then, <laughs> massive fan, love your work. And then, well, of course, flirting with each other. And then, of course, the moment you're out of earshot, although sometimes beautifully, not when you're quite out of earshot. You hear what they really think? God, I can't stand him. I can't stand him. <laughs> right. Hello, <laughs> love it. You get love that a lot. <laughs> How much more can I help you? How many more of your diva demands can we acquiesce to? <laughs> and then, of course, that's not what they're thinking at all. They're thinking. The danger in television, of, of course, is that you're never alone with a microphone. Mm.